first of all, just wonder how much more you're enjoying this season personally after the frustrations of, of last season. Yeah, of course, I'm going to enjoy it more because I'm playing now. So, and that's for me, it's all about playing football, winning games, and that's what I, I wake up for while I train so hard. And to be able to play in front of the fans and put the shirt on as well, it's, it's massive. And that's the ambition for me to, to keep, to, to keep pro progressing. The manager's been very complimentary about you recently, but given the fact you couldn't play much last season, they brought in a load of forwards over the course of the summer. Did you wonder what the future held for you this campaign at one stage? No, it's just football, isn't it? It's, it's what happens, players come and go. Um, the squad needed to get a bit more strength in because we had a lot of players that are left. Um, and it's just part of football, you get used to it. I've been in the game for long enough to know it's going to happen. And I just need to focus on myself, get myself fit and help the team out. Some players get distracted though when other players come in, in their positions. The fact that you have not is that down to a belief in what you have done and what you can do? Yeah, correct. It's down to all the work I've put in um, throughout my whole career, not just here. Previous clubs when I was a kid, um, I've worked hard and I believe in myself and I keep doing it. And every game I take very serious and I want to win. I want to win, want to play well, want to help the team out and, and that's what all my focus is. Well, it seems to be a, a lot of love amongst the Rangers fans for yourself at this moment in time. And has it kind of surprised you that given the amount of additions that Rangers have made in the summer that a lot of people are looking at you as, as being potentially the number one striker at the club this season? Um, to be honest, I don't focus on it, all that stuff. Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a boring answer I'll give you and it's, it's down to myself and working hard and focusing. And, I think the problem is with football, we make it very complicated and it, and it doesn't have to be. Um, as long as you work hard, do your best, and obviously everyone's trying to win a game. That's all we're trying to do. And whether we do or we don't, it's not down to, to not, not trying. Um, it might be just an off day, but we're definitely putting on the shirt to win. It's sort of a strange situation at Rangers at the moment in the sense that there's been three straight wins, but obviously a degree of unhappiness amongst the fans in terms of the overall performances. Um, how close do you feel the team are to, to gelling, to finding the flow, if you like? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we've got in the last three games, three wins, three clean sheets. Um, and sometimes it, it's not about how we win, it's about getting the result. And we've been able to do that. Three games in the space of, what, seven days, eight days. Um, it's not easy. It's difficult, very, very difficult, and unfortunately for us, well, not unfortunately because it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure and it's something that we should be proud of. We're at a big club, um, and it comes with the demands and the pressures and high expectations, and you can either see it as a negative pressure or a positive, and and I think we're taking it as a positive, and using it as fuel just to keep pushing, keep pushing through it, get through these games and just keep getting the results. Just finally from me, I mean the manager was clearly cut a frustrated figure on Sunday, he spoke about you know, his concern about the performance, he was seen a bit scunnered generally. Was there any, has there been a bit of soul searching since the Sunday game, has there been strong words spoken at, in terms of just trying to find a reaction ahead of tomorrow night's match? Um, reaction, like I said, we got the result, so it, it, it's, a, it's a fine line. You could play bad and get a result. You can play really well and not get a result. Which one do you want? For, for me, I, I want the result. Obviously, you want both, but if you're going to pick and choose, you want the result. We got the result, and yes, we could improve. Um, we've worked on it in, on the training pitch. Um, we've also worked on it in the gym to recover as well. So hopefully we, we show a better performance and also get the result tomorrow. Well, can, can you understand why some fans might be unhappy with the style of play? You talk about winning is the most important thing, mm -hmm. we all know that, especially here at this club. Yeah. But can you understand why some fans might not be satisfied with what they're seeing on the pitch? Yeah, of course, because obviously I'm a football fan as well. I watch football and when I'm watching football I want to be entertained and not be bored. Um, but not every game's going to go down like that. And like I said, it's, it's difficult playing three games in seven or eight days. There's going to be an element of fatigue or element of um, lower performances, but we've got the result and hopefully we can 
tomorrow we can get the result and a performance to, to please the crowd as well. Obviously there is some discontent amongst the support but how united are the team and how united are you behind the manager and what he is trying to, to get across to you? Oh yeah, we've always been united um, as a team and as a manager from the day he signed to, to now. We worked again massively in off-season and pre-season with the new bunch of players um, to learn the system and also having to adapt to a club like this, to new surroundings, um, and it's all, it's all come together. Um, and it's, 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 it's going to repeat myself. It's, it is difficult at a club like this. It's going to, you got high expectations and every day you have to match them. Some days you're not going to, it's not realistic, but um, we, we try our best. Just finally for me, sorry, um, in terms of the cup itself, obviously the, that's what you playing tomorrow, the quarter final. Is, is it crucial, is it pivotal that yeah. you win this competition? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Plus, it's a cup that we haven't won for a long time. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's we, we want to win silverware and again, repeat myself, at a club like this we have to win silverware. Especially when it's a silverware that we haven't won before for a long time. So it's, it's, it's really important. Okay, man, how challenging was it for you that period when you had the injury setbacks? Yeah, very challenging, but it's part of football, part of the game. Um, unfortunately, I've had to deal with it most of my career and get through, um, but it's in the past now, hopefully. So I just need to keep pushing on, keep working on my, my gym programme that I've been given, which seems to have helped, the operation also has helped, and um, onwards and upwards. How key a role did the manager say he sees you playing this season? Just help the team win games. Simple as that. It's when I get selected, I play my best, work hard, and hopefully get the result. Do you think you will this season be at a level where you could play Thursday, Sunday, when, and then three games a week, basically? Yeah, that's the plan. Absolutely. I had I didn't play many games in pre-season because that was still part of the build-up of um, my rehab. Um, I haven't been able to play three games in a week for a long time. Again, every every stage is a my body has to adapt. I have to get used to it. So, I've played ninety minutes. I've played what two three days after the ninety minutes. Nearly played another ninety minutes. Third game. Okay, let's calm down a bit. Let's not get carried away. Let's be sensible. Come off the bench if needed, for then to go again the next game. So it's ad having to adapt. Let the body adapt, get used to it, and then eventually, after a amount of time, I should be fine to deal with the free games. Come on, did it help that you were, you know, always in the manager's plans when you were injured? Because he would always come in here and speak about yourself and Tom Warren, mm -hmm. always add into the start now. And so, you know, boys can be quite isolated when they're out injured. Was it always kind of reassuring that the manager was always speaking about you and making sure you were going to be part of the squad? When you yeah, of course. It's natural that you want to be always be involved, even if you're not on the pitch and you don't want to be forgotten about. And that's what. The gaffer's done really well. All the injured players, he's got involved. He's kept them, bringing them in the meetings, so they're still watching all the games and listening to all the tactics. So for when you do come back, you're not um, clueless. You're still up to date with what's going on and you can fit straight in. What did he say to you when you got that injury and you, you knew you were going to be out for, for so long? Did he pull you aside up a chat tell you there's still a place for you here? Ah, yeah, of course, but I already knew this and also Again, I repeat myself, as long as I do what I need to do, stay focused, keep working hard, um, and hopefully be able to help the team on the pitch. I think the League Cup's the only trophy domestically in Scotland that you've not won with Rangers. What would that mean to, yeah, you know, to add, add that to you? I need to win it. I want to win it. Um, it would hurt a lot if I don't win it on a personal note, because like you said, it's the only one I haven't won. Um, but you don't need to ask any player about a cop. Everyone wants to win it. Okay. Just so what, what was the injury? Just the, the operation? You need to remind us what you, you had done just to. It was my right hip um, operation on that, just to clear it up. Was that something you'd had to manage for quite a while through your career? And it ultimately got to a point where you said, I need to do something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was a, a three, three, four month rehab, so it's not something that you can just say, okay, I'm getting it done now. So I've had to keep pushing it back, keep pushing it back. Um, 
just because I didn't want to be out for three months or couldn't be out for three, four months. And if I could kind of get myself through and keep playing with it, I was going to do that. But it got to the point where enough was enough and we wasn't really going anywhere in that season as well. So it was probably the perfect time to get it done. Is that a gamble in some ways though? Because you're almost, you take yourself out of the team voluntarily to a point for the long-term benefit. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's probably, it's a long-term benefit, but I'll, I just, it was getting to the point where I kept breaking down because of my hip and it wasn't benefiting anybody. It was, I could, okay, I could come back, score a goal, then be out <coughs> again. And for me, it's, that's not enjoyable. And it's probably frustrating for the manager as well because he can't um, rely on that. I'll be fine for the next game, even if I played good the previous game. And so I had to just uh, nip it in the bud and just get it fixed.